So what is the lambda function in Microsoft Excel? In this video, let's talk about the lambda function and why and when we need to use it. With the help of lambda function, you can create a custom function for a commonly used formula. What that means is if you have a formula that you have to use again and again in your workbook, you can convert that formula into a custom function using lambda. Then every time you need the formula, you can use the custom function instead of typing the formula. So this way the lambda function will save you a lot of time and also help you prevent errors that can creep in while typing a formula manually. Now let's look at a simple example. Suppose a manufacturer is offering a discount on sales. He has the following discount offer. If a customer places an order and the order value is greater than or equal to 10,000 rupees, he offers a maximum discount, a fixed discount of 2,000. Else, if the order value is less than 10,000, he offers a discount of 20%. Now, every time a customer places an order, the manufacturer has to calculate the discount and use a formula for this calculation. Now, instead of every time using a formula, typing the formula manually, the manufacturer can use the lambda function and create a custom function for the discount calculation. Let us see how. So here I am in Microsoft Excel and I have to calculate the discount for these three customers whose order value is 12,000, 9,000 and 8,500 respectively. So my discount rule is if the order value is greater than 10,000, I have to offer a discount of 2,000. So I will use the if function. If order value is greater than equal to 10,000, comma, my discount is 2000 fix it else it is 20 percent of order value close parenthesis here. enter i will drag this formula down here is the discount calculated now i want to create a custom function for this formula and use that function instead of typing the formula so what i will do is i will use the lambda function then the first argument for the lambda function is the parameter or calculation so we will pause the parameter the parameter is the order value we will name it order value remember here that you have to declare as many parameters as there are input values required by your formula since our formula in this case requires only one input value that is the order value we will declare only one parameter However, there are situations when your formula will require two or more than two parameters. In that case, you have to declare that number of parameters. One more point to note here is that you have to name your parameter uh, such that Excel doesn't confuse it with a cell reference. For example, if you name a parameter as val1, val1, Excel will confuse it with that cell reference. So, you can instead name it as VAL underscore one or something like that so that Excel doesn't confuse it with a cell reference. After declaring the parameter, the next part in the lambda function is to add the calculation. Remember that you can add up to 253 parameters in lambda function. And then you can, in the calculation part, you can use those parameters in the calculation formula. So how do we calculate the discount? The discount is calculated on order value. We will use a if function here. If order value is greater than or equal to 10,000, the discount is 2,000. Else, the discount is 20% of order value or 0.2 multiplied by order value. We will close the if function then we will close the lambda function so here is the lambda function for discount calculation however if i press enter on the keyboard at this stage the lambda function will return a calc error the reason is we are not passing any values for the declared parameters and lambda function hasn't any values on which to calculate the discount so to test the lambda function we have to pass values to it and to pass values to a lambda function, we have to use an additional set of parentheses. The first order value is 12,000, so let's type it manually here, 12,000, and let's check whether, whether the lambda function is working correctly or not. Hit enter on the keyboard and 
2000 is the value returned by the lambda function and it is the same value uh, which is here so 2000 is the discount calculated by the lambda function you can also pass cell reference as the argument to the lambda function let's enter b2 here hit enter on the keyboard again it, it is returning 2000 as the discount now having checked the lambda function we will delete this additional set of parentheses here copy the lambda function press escape on the keyboard then go to formulas name manager and create a new name let us name our function as discount underscore calc because it is calculating discount we will set the scope to workbook then in the comment box i will add some description about the function i will write it calculates the discount on order value then in the refers to i will paste the lambda function here i will click on ok here and now i have added the discount calculation function to the excel set of functions having added the lambda function to the name manager now i can use the discount calculation function notice that when i type this function this tooltip calculates the discount on the order value it is a description of the function it is just like the tooltip of other functions so it gives a little idea about what the function does so this is the reason you should add description in the name manager box when adding a lambda function to the custom set of functions when i use this function notice that excel prompts me to enter the order value so order value i can use these set of values when i close the parenthesis hit enter notice that excel spills these values so this is how you can use the lambda function in microsoft excel having discussed all the positives and benefits of the lambda function and how it can save you a lot of time you should also note down the limitation of the lambda function the biggest limitation of the lambda function is, is that it is workbook specific that is it will function only in the workbook in which you have added it as a definer name through the name manager dialog box however as a workaround if you want to use the lambda function in a different workbook you have to copy a worksheet from the original workbook in which you have a lambda and then paste that worksheet in a new workbook and through this process the lambda functions which are in the original workbook they will get transferred in the new workbook so now that you have got the idea behind the lambda function and in which situation we can use it let me know in the comments below how will you use the lambda function and as always don't forget to hit the like button if the video was helpful thanks for watching